All right, so I thought I'd start maybe doing a little more of the, um, the making of the sausage videos. Um, so you've seen in my previous video, I've been doing none or um, uh, polygon boring and um, uh, actual polygon turning with this little green machine. And I'm kind of, if you look at this, and you can kind of see it in some of the other stuff I've done. See those vertical lines? I don't know if I can get it. That is the resolution of the spindle encoder. And that's this gear tooth uh, encoder that I'm using. Um, it works good. I mean, it works perfectly fine for why I put it in there. But it doesn't work very good for doing really accurate spindle positioning for um, for the polygon boring. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little more goofing around with this. So this is this is how this spindle is together. This is actually what kind of clamps the. Um, pulley down but uh, and it also is what's used for the um, the uh, cullet unclamp which is another project someday I need to do and that's what attaches here and there's a big cylinder up here um, but what I'm gonna try is I have I have a I have we, picked up these off of eBay a while back. They are 5,000 line encoders. Um, I actually have one on the top of this uh, the spindle motor because um, it's what I had because they were like super cheap. They were like 10 bucks a piece or something like that. So it's got a 3 8 hole and what I'm thinking of doing because because hey junk box I have these two. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. These two timing gears. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna kind of sneak one in right there. And the other one will be right here about. And that is what I'm going to use for spindle position to kind of play around with um, with the polygon machining or whatever you want to call it and maybe do some other things but uh, so that's where I'm starting here I, I gotta figure out how to uh, how to make what I'm planning on I think is I'm gonna take this machine out the center machine it good I don't even know what this is from and um, either press it or um, set screw it right here. It'll just fit. And then this one will be mounted on a bracket here that'll probably be bolted to this and maybe this and this, depending on what, what I think I need. And this will probably have a bearing top and bottom and then the encoder will be mounted on top of that, hooked into it. So, so this is start, and I'll hopefully show some of the thought process and the machining and the cobbling, because that's kind of how we do things here. So, kind of just get her done. All right, going to do some editing.
A couple of things. I should have ran coolant, but I was being lazy, and the cutting oil I had was way too thick. But still, still turned out pretty darn nice. So it took me three tries to get the right diameter. I was like three under the last cut. So I still have to make it the right thickness. You can see it was just cut off. I don't remember the story behind this, but um, but yeah, love the Kernian Trekker. I have to tell you, look at that. Look at that finish, and that's not even trying. That it does as good boring with a mill as it does boring with a boring bar. There's no backlash, it's just amazing. So, anywho, I hope to uh, get this all together. All right, so I did some machining. Uh, you saw some of it, um, and then I forgot to record. What I ended up doing, well, you see this gets held on with set screws, three set screws. I just drilled holes big enough for Allen wrench to go through. They, it worked out okay. And then pressed this on here, and then set it back up on the machine and cleaned this up because it was a little wider in spots because it was just cut off. You can kind of see it here. I didn't go all the way to nothing. And so then this should go on here and get tightened down. And then I have to make the, the mating piece that will hold this and this, the actual encoder. So that'll be phase two. Or 2.8 whatever but uh, so far so good no major problems that went together pretty pretty nice and for the torque that it's going to be um, the torque that it's going to be applying to the encoder isn't going to be much of anything so should be more than enough